today I am going to be installing this laptop fan into this Hewlett Packard laptop. This model specifically is an HP 15BA113CL, but this fan is actually perfect for various models in the description below. Now, first off, you will need a small Phillips head screwdriver and you'll want to unscrew all of these screws, including two hidden ones behind these pads. Okay, I have taken all the primary screws out. Let me just pull these little tabs out. And you'll notice that there are the two hidden screws we need to take out. Okay, now that we have all the screws taken out, I want to show you that it is strongly recommended to have all these screws inside a small bowl. It doesn't have to be big, but somewhere where all the screws are there and you will not have to worry about losing them. Okay. Now it is time to easily pull the optical drive out along with the battery. Now you'll notice that it latches just like that. And you'll also notice that there are two more screws right here. So let's take that out. Now that we have all of the screws for sure taken out, it is time to flip it over and it is time to carefully, and I mean carefully, pry this open with something with the very thin end on it. That way it's easy to open it up. And there's just a lot of snapping sound. It's scary, but that's the normal procedure. Just take it nice and easy. Now that we have the laptop open, you'll notice that this is the CPU fan right here. Let me just put it side by side. Yes, it is the same one that we got. Now, for this part, you will want to take out some screws right here and here and here. It's buried under these cables somehow, so we're just going to have to gently move them. This is much smaller than what the bottom of the laptop has, so it's easier to remember. Just put that in the bowl. For this next part, you'll notice that there is a pin plugged into the laptop's motherboard. You'll want to use a very, and I mean a very, tiny set of pliers. This set should work out perfectly. And do not, do not cut any of the wires. So let me just gently pull it out. Okay, so after a while, it, uh, it actually, you just need to jiggle it a little to pull it out. And some wires were hooked underneath this little hook. So I guess that's taken care of. It is now time to put in the new guy. Okay, I know you can't see it, but I got it under the hook, and 
just use the tip of your fingers to put it in and align it with the pins. All right, as I've said, smaller screws out of the bowl, just like so. Make sure it's tight, which it is. Okay, so now that we're done, I can put the screws back in. The optical drive. And finally, the battery. Now that we have the laptop all pieced together, let's turn it on. It's unbelievably quiet. I can't even hear it. So the fan installation was a success. So that is how you replace a fan inside of a Hewlett Packard laptop. Thank you for watching. Now, while you are on your computer, a lot of you tend to have problems with it, such as slow performance, a lot of viruses, anything like that. Before you take it to the repair shop or consider buying a new one, come to my website, remotetechassistance.com. While you're there, please download my seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is free, it is simple, and it is also safe. Also, if you do not want to look at the PDF, come to my Remote Tech Assistance channel on YouTube and watch the secrets there. They are also as simple as the PDF file. Just go to remotetechassistance.com. There is a link in the description below.